everyone, and welcome back to Slithycraft. And after the last episode, we've gotten a lot of stuff out of that mine shaft. Uh, today, we're going to be a little bit more above ground. Uh, mission today is to gather food supplies. Um, I'm going to start off by actually making some of the things from the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft. I'm going to try to make like the pot, saucepan, mixing bowl, and that sort of stuff. So we have that all set to go. And then we're going to go back to where we found the sheep and see if we can gather some meat to eat. And then if we have time, maybe we'll go back down to the mine shaft. Okay, so one thing we need, we need to get our iron ingots which we have a ton of. And we're gonna need some wood and some sticks. Uh, we only have one stick, so we'll have to make some more stick, but we have lots of spruce wood. Uh, I'm gonna grab the oak wood, just cause I think some of the things do require oak wood specifically. So let's go over to our crafting bench and we have something going in here. Oh, just more wood. We'll let the lead keep going. Okay, so let's make a bunch more sticks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make an actual cutting board. The one we made looks like it might be just a decorative one. So it should be oak wood there, stick there, and an iron ingot. And there we go, we got an actual cutting board. Um, then I think it's going to be iron, iron, and a stick for a skillet. And we'll just move these down. Okay, so... Let me stick there. No, it's one up. And... That should make us a pot. And it looks like we're gonna make have to make some bricks for one of the items. Uh, for the bakeware and for the presser, we're going to need to make some pistons. Um, so we need a stick here. And planks, planks, planks. Mixing bowl. And just a stick and a piece of iron. And we have a saucepan. Okay, so we got to figure out how to make some pistons. And we got to make... A bri some bricks, and I'm pretty sure we have some clay that I've gathered. So let's go ahead and pop those in one of the furnaces here. And I think these actually go on top of the furnaces, the three um, skillet pot and saucepan. So I may end up moving one of these furnaces. So I should be able to no. Okay, so that doesn't work. Well, the pot works. Oh, okay. And let's see if the saucepan will do the same. No. Okay. But we at least figured out how to get the pot on there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. We don't need that one. Because we have the actual one here. Okay, so there's that, and let's just go ahead and put one of these down and see if we can put the mixing bowl on it. No, we can't put the mixing bowl on. Oh, mixing bowl. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, so let's just make another chest, and we'll just store this other stuff in there. Take that out. Okay. Pop you in there, you in there, you in there. Okay. Actually, I'll go ahead and put that other board there. Actually, we'll take the mixing bowl because I think with some of the 
food items we have in here, I think we can actually make like fruit salad. So let's grab a blueberry and we will grab a grape and we will grab a raspberry and we'll grab our kiwi. So I think, I think we use this for it. So we'll put the bowl in there and And that's not doing anything. Alright, so that doesn't work. Let's see if we just put the fruit in and see if anything comes up. Oh! Fruit salad! Okay, so we don't need the mixing bowl for that. We'll make a couple of those. Alright, so we'll put this back in here. And I think we can actually also I think we can make a knife. We'll say like that, like that. No, okay, so there's not a way to make a knife, but I think we can... There's a way to make sliced bread, because I know you can make sandwiches. So let's see if we can look up B-R-E-A-D. Okay, so let's see here. Cornbread, gingerbread, bread apple, bread slice. And it's not telling me how to make it. Okay, sausage and bread, fairy bread, bread, bakeware, which we're working on, butter, and a bunch of dyes. So we can make something called fairy bread, lavender shortbread. Uh, so we might have to make a special kind of bread. And barley. And do we have to use a fence to make bread with that? No. Okay. Toast. Okay, which is okay. So let's go back to this. Let's grab some more food and see what happens since it's nighttime at the current moment. Um, let's see what happens if we grab cucumber, tomato, and I know we have some lettuce, a less cabbage, bell pepper. Let's grab a bell pepper. And spinach, spice leaf. Artichoke. Do we not have any kind of lettuce? I thought we had some sort of lettuce. Not textile garden. I'm not quite sure what that makes. I thought we had some sort of lettuce. Well, we don't. Okay. Well, let's see if we pop these in here if this comes up with anything. No, that doesn't do anything. Alright, I'm probably going to have to just look up some more recipes for that, and we'll work on that later. Okay, I am going to make some an extra sword, just in case. Actually, I'll make two. Because they'll probably come in handy. Why is my door open? My door should not be open. Okay, so put you back in here. Uh, we do have tons of iron and all sorts of other stuff. Um, some lapis, some redstone. Uh, the lapis and the redstone I found on the way out of the um, mine shaft. I also found a chest that had two diamonds. I did not do anything with them because I figured I should probably do that once we're, we're on there. I don't know what these are for. Let's see what those do. Ooh. Quartz pickaxe. A uh, quartz wrench, a uh, cutting knife, Gr oh, grindstone, uh, colored stone, colored cobblestone, view cell. Okay, some of this stuff I have no idea. Okay, we'll just leave that for the moment. 
What do the charged ones do? Well, it's just the same stuff. Meteorite compass. I'm not sure what that does, but we can make one of those, so let's go ahead and make a meteorite compass. So it was one of these, and it looked like it was surrounded by four. I wonder if that just means it directs us to where there's meteorites. That's what I'm going to guess. Yeah, meteorite hunter achievement. So I'm guessing that directs us to where meteorites are. So let's grab you and you. Eh, no, we'll just leave you in there. So we now have a full stack of that. Um, what else can we make? And cutting knives. I mean, there's going to be a ton of stuff in here, because, I mean, it's iron. You use iron for just about everything. Ooh. Matter condenser? That looks pretty cool. Crystal growth accelerator. Fluix block. Oh, so there's other kinds of crystals, too. Wireless receiver. Matter cannon. Oh my god, I want a, man a matter cannon. That sounds pretty awesome. Vibration chamber. Charged staff. Okay, I'm not sure what that does. We can definitely make one, but I'm gonna wait. Okay, there's like a ton of stuff to do with this. Light detecting fixture. Okay. Well, there's lots of stuff that we can do. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with the diamonds right now. Uh, I do have these orberry br bushes. I've tried figuring out how to plant them. I can't figure it out. They don't want to be planted. And it's daytime, so we can start heading out. Um, I'm going to put the meteorite thing here. Let's actually clear some more inventory space. Let's plop you guys in there. And I'll put you back in here. Okay, so we'll be off to go ahead and try to find ourselves some uh, some meat to eat. Uh, I did put a, a fence around here. This is the area that I was going to plant the orberry bushes, but it won't let me. Um, I also did put a fence, this cobblestone fence, around the village area just to kind of keep creepers out um, so that way we can gather our food in peace and not be blown up. And I still don't quite know what to do in here. I might just dig all this up and just plant stuff in there. And let's close that. And I have a little gateway over here because this leads up to where our mine shaft is, but we're not going to the mine shaft today. Oh, what are you? Oh, I thought that was a monster. That's not a monster. That's a horse's ass. Okay. Silly horse. There's definitely lots of horses around here. And I'm kind of wondering if there's anything behind this bricked area here, but... Alright, so let's head off to where the sheep were. Uh, it also looks like with those little gardens that I keep getting, it looks like if you plant them, they spread actually similar to how mushrooms spread, is what I read. So, it's possible that I could actually plant those and let them grow and have more of those coming up. I'll just punch through random grass here and see what seeds we end up with. I'm not seeing any mobs at the moment, so. Oh, we're getting lots of seeds. Okay, so let's see here. We got cotton, belladonna, water artichoke, regular seeds, carrot seeds. So. I don't want to fill up my inventory with that because we are on a bit of a mission. And 
I thought I heard something that kind of spooked me. Okay, what are you? Ground garden? Are you a garden? What are you? Mystical green flower. We're just going to play on you. We don't need you yet. Okay, and I did see a weird little thing. Are you a garden? What are you? Oh, you just get destroyed. Alright, let's kind of dig our way through and gather more seeds. There's another garden. There's a goat. And there we go, there are some cows, so let's go kill ourselves some cows. Mandrake seeds. I'm not so worried about ores, we got plenty of ores at the moment. What we need is some meat. So let's get ourselves some meat. Let's kill the cows. And we're getting some leather, which we can use the leather to make books. Because we'll need some books eventually for enchanting. And clover. We got some clovers. Okay, so let's go over this way because it looks like that might be, is that another garden? Or no, that's another mystical flower. Okay. There's some sheep and some donkeys. Okay. Might kill some of the sheep. I'll kill the black sheep. Uh, eventually I'll try to gather some of these sheep up and, and gather some of this clover. I don't know what the clover does, but it's pretty, so I'll just put some of that around my house. Have lots of food to, to eat. And I keep hearing like a hissing noise. I don't know whether there's just a snake somewhere around here or am I actually hearing a creeper? Because it kind of makes me think that there's a creeper around. Okay. There's lots of animal sounds. Okay, there's a fox and some more goats, and there's a ch no, that's another sheep. I'm actually going to leave the sheep, because the sheep will actually come in handy, because we will eventually need wool. My inventory is already getting full. Okay. So let's keep going in this direction. Now I believe those bright yellow things over there. I believe those are another type of garden. So we're going to go ahead and grab those. Yes, they are. That is the grass garden. There's another one over there, if I can get up to it. Okay. If I fall, you're going to learn very quickly I am terrible at anything parkour. Uh, parkour is not my friend. And that's not just in Minecraft, it's pretty much in any game. Okay. So we've got some more food supplies. Now that's one of the tower things. Some more clover. Why not? Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's actually a tower or if it's just a really big tree. And I don't know what's going on over here. You know what? I think it's just a really big tree. What is this? Is this a meteorite? I think this is actually a meteorite. I don't know what you are, but I'm going to kill you. Okay, 
think this might actually be a meteorite. I don't know if we can actually... No, I don't think we can actually gather any of this, because I think you need a diamond for that. Yeah, I think we need a diamond pickaxe for that. I think this might actually be a meteorite. I don't know. And I'm in a hole. So, we'll just leave this for now. I'll go over here, because I think I saw... Oops. I meant to just gather that, but... Okay. Yeah, it's going crazy. I'm pretty sure that's a just a meteorite. Alright, after we get more diamonds and can make a diamond pickaxe, we'll come back over here. I'm just going to go over here and see what this big tree is. There's chickens. And there's an elephant. And there's a beehive, which I'm not going to do anything with the beehive yet, because you need a scoop for that. I don't have a scoop yet. And there's lots of elephants, and let's see if there's anything actually in the tree. It's probably good that I don't have an axe with me, because I know if you have an axe, the whole thing would come down, and there's no way I have enough inventory space. Okay, what is that? Redwood bark. It says probably redwood, actual wood. Yeah, that's redwood. Okay, so we don't really need that. And it's starting to get dark, so let's head on home. I'm not seeing any mobs up here, so that's probably a good sign. I think you actually need logs for the mushroom gardens, but we have plenty of logs, so... Go ahead and gather those, gather you, gather you. Oh, I heard something weird. Alright, can we get rid of anything here? Um, we have some baked potatoes. What can we actually get rid of? Okay, we don't actually need the red wood. Okay, I'm not seeing any mobs, which is really weird. But then again, last time we were up this way, I did not see any mobs up here. So I wonder if maybe they just don't spawn up here. I'm not sure. But since we're not seeing any mobs, I'm just going to make a run for it. Oh, there's turtles! Turn the turtles upside down! Oh my god, that's so cute! Okay. I'm hearing weird noises, so I'm just gonna run. Okay. I think we're heading in the right direction for home. I think it's one of those. Okay, let's go down this way. Carefully. I don't know if the snakes are going to attack me. Uh, let's run. Nope. 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 Okay, it looks like they're, they're not attacking me. Okay. There's a pig over there. I'm not gonna bother going for those. Because I don't have inventory space for those little melon gardens, but... Uh, goats and jungle cats, and trees that are on fire. Okay. How do I get up there? Come on, how do I get up there to put the fires out? I don't want my forest to burn down. What is burning it down? Seriously, what is burning the forest down? <laughs> oh, it's you! It's the horse! Okay, this horse has to go. It's a fire horse. <laughs> He's burning my forest down. He's 
setting everything on fire. Sorry, horse. Okay, let's just plop those there for now, so I have... How do I put the fire out? The fire does not want to stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's... At least try to keep it contained to one tree. Minus what's already burnt. How do I put this fire out? It's not let me put the fire out. <laughs> oh jeez. I think it's just gonna burn itself out because I took all its fuel away. You! Unicorn! Horse! Whatever you are, why didn't you stop it? Okay. It's not gonna take up anything else, I don't think. Okay. Let's plant another tree here. Okay, so it's pretty contained. Let's gather these two up. And let's keep heading towards home. Alright, and we've made it back. probably have to put a, another fence over here somewhere. And we go. So we actually have some meat now. Yay! So let's see if we can actually put some... Let's put the raw mutton in there. Oh! Stock! Okay! We'll take, we'll take it. Let's just ditch the rest of our food stuff in here for now. Okay. Snowbell's not food, so we'll take that out. And Belladonna's not food, so we'll take that out. And we'll probably have to start growing some of this this stuff soon. And we're actually going to need another chest. And where did I put our wood? Okay, let's make another chest for food. in there anyway. Put those in there, put that in there, and we'll put our meteorite compass in there for now. Okay guys, and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you like this episode, go ahead and click like, click subscribe, tell your friends, Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you want me to do. And with that, Slithy check out. Bye!